Hello again. So today I want to show you how we milk our cows to produce your milk, but also how we're using the latest technology to not only make life easier for us, but also make life a lot better for our cows. So today we're going to milk the cows, and first of all we're going to spray the runner with some antibacterial disinfectant and give it a good clean down, making sure there's no dirt or germs on it. That's all nice and clean. And then we're going to add the milk to the unit onto that. Up. And can you see the milk's just starting to come through now? So that's one done, 299 left to go. Well, that's milking all finished for tonight, and we're all washed down, set up, ready to start again 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. On this farm, we milk twice a day, every single day of the year, even on Christmas Day. So we're spending almost seven hours every day in this parlour milking cows. But there is an alternative, because over there, we've got a shed full of cows that are being milked 24 hours a day. But instead of me milking them, the cows are milking themselves. Let's go and have a look. We have a robot that the cows are free to walk in whenever they want. It recognises the cow from her colour she wears and it closes the gates behind her. A robotic arm then moves under the cow's belly and gently brushes her udders and teats clean with an antibacterial to ensure that there are no germs and everything is spotlessly clean before it begins milking her. Once the udder and the teats are clean, the brushes then fold away. The robotic arm then uses lasers to map the cow's udder and recognise where her teats are. It then attaches the milking units to her one by one. Once milking has begun, it then cleans the brushes ready for the next cow. At the same time as this is happening, the robot also gives the cow her correct amount of feed. As the cow stands peacefully, the robot gently uses vacuum and pulsation to suck and massage the milk from her, making it feel just like it's the calf suckling from its mother. As each teat runs out of milk, the robot removes the milking cups. while the computer tells us how much milk she's produced. Once she's finished milking, the robot moves and sprays all four of her teats with an antibacterial spray to prevent germs causing infection until the teats have sealed up after milking. The robot then moves away from the cow to be washed and ready for the next cow. Meanwhile, the cows patiently wait outside, taking it in turns to go into the robot and milk themselves. You may also notice that our cows all wear neck collars. They have a number on them so that we can see who is who, as well as for having a sensor, which is a little bit like a Fitbit. This tells us how much the cow has been moving, as well as for how much their stomachs have been working. And then from this information, it helps us to see that our cows are healthy and also helps us to identify if they're at the right stage for breeding with. How incredible is that? Cows choosing to milk themselves. And what's more, with the robot able to monitor the cows and the produce much more closely, we're able to know that our cows are more healthy and we're supplying you with even higher quality milk. 
Now, since having the robot, we've also noticed that our cows are much quieter, much more relaxed, and much happier. And that means they're going into the robot much more often. And as a result, producing more milk, which makes me an awful lot happier as well. Now, the people that make these robots also make loads of other great things. We have a robotic calf machine, which allows the calves to choose when they want to be fed. It monitors their health and how much milk they're drinking. They also make robotic cow feeders and robots that take the muck out of our cow sheds. But the one thing that I really want to get next is a robotic hairbrush. The cows are able to walk underneath it. It gives them a good scratch, brushes them clean, and also makes them look a lot smarter, which I think will not only be great for my cows, but I have a suspicion it might help out with me as well.